that. President Obama may not be finished making unilateral changes to his namesake health care reform law. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry tells us tonight about the latest effort under consideration to soften the blow for millions of Americans. President Obama is mulling yet another major change to his controversial health care law that would affect millions who had policies canceled last year. Officials inside both the administration and the insurance industry confirmed to Fox one of several tweaks under consideration would let individual policyholders keep existing plans for an extra three years, pushing the cancellation issue beyond not just the 2014 midterms, but also the president's time in office, though his aides continue to insist other other aspects are working just fine. Health care costs have been growing at the slowest pace in 50 years since the Affordable Care Act was passed into law. A spokeswoman at the Health and Human Services Department stressed no more changes have been finalized, but said the administration is considering a three-year extension for the estimated 14 million who buy individual plans, self-employed business owners, early retirees, and people stuck between jobs. Spokeswoman Joanne Peters telling Fox, quote, while we are continuing to examine all sorts of ways to provide consumers with more choices and to smooth the transition as we implement the law, no decisions have been made. These are the policyholders who were affected by the false claim that if you liked your plan, you could keep your plan. At a November news conference, the president urged insurers to let people keep those plans through 2014, as he also acknowledged the web woes. I mean, uh, we fumbled the rollout on this health care law. A top insurance industry executive told Fox Democrats are privately worried that this fall, on the eve of the midterms, policyholders will again start getting notices about cancellations and potential premium spikes for similar plans within the exchanges. In order to limit any political damage, the insurance executive said, the administration is exploring several changes, adding, quote, I get the sense literally everything is on the table. Today, the chairman and CEO of AOL revealed that in order to pay for more generous health benefits, he'll have to trim some 401k benefits. Obamacare uh, is an additional $7.1 million expense for us as a company, so we have to decide whether or not to pass that expense to employees or whether to cut other benefits. Pressed on whether other companies will follow AOL's lead, White House officials insist the new law is not to blame. I'm not concerned about a shift where they may say, okay, we're going to do a better job with health care. But but every, every company, and this has been the case uh, for uh, a lot longer than the ACA has been around, has been making decisions like that. Gallup has a new survey out tonight suggesting that 68% of Americans are very or somewhat familiar with the new law. That's the same level as last summer, suggesting the PR effort needs a little more work. Chris? Ed Henry reporting from the White House. Ed, thanks.